What is up, everybody? Ninja Nick here with Tactical Gaming, bringing you an interesting video. So, with the third object to have shown up and been shot down over Alaska, so this is the third one that we've seen, second one to be shot down, a lot of people are wondering, are we going to go to war with China? Is it Russia that's doing it? Because China admitted to the one balloon... Then the second object, which we shot over just the other day, which some people were speculating, was it a balloon, was it a UFO, what was it, who was it from, if it was a balloon, and now we have another balloon. This one was an actual balloon that was shot over Alaska, and needless to say, you know, Lisa Murkowski, our, you know, senator, was not too happy, you know, with what's going on with Biden and everything else, which, I mean, I wholeheartedly agree. I generally don't like Murkowski too much, but I definitely agree with her on that. Mainly because of the fact the matter is, with how close our neighbors, Russia and China are, um, it's really important that Alaska and Alaskans act first because we're the first contingency, in all honesty, when you think about it. Because they're right there next door. If they're going to take out anyone first and gain a foothold, it's going to be us because we're right there. Now, the thing is, most people go, couldn't happen because, you know, hey, the way America is because we have guns. Now, the problem is a lot of legislatures are trying to get rid of several things that actually protect us and, you know, make sure that we are safe you know, from our own government, from each other, as well as from foreign enemies, such as Russia, China, or anyone else. So, they, our government, not everybody, but some of them are trying to get rid of a very specific type of gun, which is a tool, and it is very commonplace. Millions of people actually own it and have one. So, this is what I'm talking about. It is an AR pistol rifle because it has, you know, a nifty, nifty little brace on it that they say you can't shoulder. And no, I didn't touch it on my shoulder. It went like that. So you can't shoulder it. And they say when you shoulder it, it is so much more dangerous than shouldering this one. This is a full rifle. You know, this ain't a brace. This is an actual full, you know, full length 16 all the way. This one, they say, because I'm shouldering this one, they say it's way more dangerous than this one when you shoulder it. But it's funny because when you look how flimsy this is, and the only solid part is this, when it's it, when you say you're shouldering it, it, it's so much more steady. No, it's not. Honestly, most people cheat well, and that's more steady than, you know, oh, I'm going to put it against my shoulder because you only have this. When it's like this and you're holding it out away from your shoulder so ever so slightly a lot better but of course they're trying to get rid of this gun but not only this gun that they're trying to get rid of oh no 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 they're trying to get rid of the replacement or at least the same variant of it because it's scary and they say that it's being used in so many different, you know, killings and murders and all other stuff, when in all actuality, this, a handgun, is on is used in more robberies, and in all honesty, have been used to thwart more robberies than said rifle. Matter of fact, actually, just recently, there was a shop owner who stopped someone from robbing him, who assailant was using a full-size AR rifle style. It kind of almost looked like an AR-10, which is a 308. There's a difference. And they used a pistol. So, lethality does not matter. It just comes down to the use of the tool. But the gripe I'm having right now... Oh, let's not do that. <laughs> grab I'm having right now is they're not only trying to outlaw the two rifles I showed you the full length and the shorter one because they say it's an assault weapon 
and now they're calling pistols assault pistols because you're able to go boom 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 so it goes as fast as your little booger flicker goes so depending on how fast you can move this depends on how fast your gun shoots but you know because we have millions of americans who own said rifles oh no we can't have that we gotta get rid of it so that's one thing but the thing that i'm just like come on why is they're trying to get rid of this plate carriers so this is a plate carrier I bought from a uh, not from AR Fire Nerd, sorry. I got several plate carriers, but no, this one, Spartan Armory. I have several others that I got from AR five hundred, RTS Tactical. So I mean Body Armor, why not? And you know, if they don't want people to own guns, why not body armor? And then now it goes, oh no, you can't have body armor either. Now, certain states are trying to do that. Not every state, but there are some that are actually doing it. And it's kind of ridiculous because they don't want you to have the offensive means to defend yourself and protect yourself. They don't even want you to have the defensive means to protect yourself. And it's like, huh, why is that? Well, the one reason why China and Russia won't attack, which I've already semi-mentioned this, is because... Of the amount of people who own said guns, said tools, said rifles, these. Millions and millions of Americans own these. We have the biggest unofficial military in the world. On top of our actual military, which is one reason why most countries do not mess with us in coming and invading. Because it would be a bad idea. Which is why, in my opinion, it's a little conspiracy theory-esque. But with how hard a lot of our senators and our governors are trying to get rid of guns and body armor and specific ammo, it makes gun people go, why is that? Why are you pushing so hard to get rid of something that... Is hardly used in any kind of horrific events because any gun person will straight out tell you that they are horrific events and they are no joke and no one who is a gun person who actually cares about the rules, laws, and everything else, they aren't going to be like, oh yeah, that that's okay. No, 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 no. We do not like that. We do not condone that. And you don't see law-abiding citizens do that. But... It just comes down to why would they? And then when you look at where a lot of these people get their money, it comes down to foreign money and or companies that are owned by foreign countries. A lot of a lot of our senators from certain states like California and other ones, they tend to be getting some money from Russian and Chinese people, which is kind of interesting when you look at it. And it has been proven and they will go ahead and dispute it. But anyways, when it comes down to it, even if they get rid of, you know, the big scary black rifle here and this one over there, there's still one other gun and actual other guns that we do have that, you know, they say, oh, they're not going to go for. In my opinion, some of these are a hell of a lot more scary and I definitely wouldn't want to get shot with one, even wearing body armor. But, you know, it's one of these. Oh, turn my light on. That's my bad. But this one right here. Okay. So, this is my Henry Lever Action Rifle. 4570. Okay. So, this gun, which is clear, by the way. This gun was used to fight a war. This gun has been used to take down some of the biggest game like land creatures in the world this guy so even if you know we didn't have the ars we have this baby right here 4570 223556 this is a 556 
like, huh, massive, massive difference when it comes to, like, the diameter and everything. I wouldn't want to be shot with this, even wearing body armor. These, some, depending on the round, which is another reason why they're trying to get rid of certain rounds, which also begs to differ on question why, but they're also trying to get rid of these, which can go through body armor. So why is it they would want to limit what Americans can get? Well, with how everything's ramping up, and it's definitely ramping up now, you can definitely see it. It's kind of like, hmm, are they trying to get rid of certain guns and certain things because, you know, it'd make, you know, their communist friends and allies and buddies and all that other kind of stuff make it a little bit easier for them to actually said try to invade? Yeah, but the thing is, it ain't gonna happen. They can try, but at the same time, there's gonna be millions and millions and millions of Americans who will fight. And it's gonna be with the big old scary black rifle I showed you, other rifles, AK-47s, ones like this, bolt actions. There are so many different rifles and guns out there that you can use. So there's no worry on that. But at the same time, do not register, turn in, or any of that kind of stuff when it comes to your pistol brace gun because there's 25 states, and I think more now. I don't know, I have to relook at the count, but I, I did see something about two more states joining in. Could have been an old news report. Didn't really check the date, but I, I was like, wait, what? But 25 and maybe plus. So that's going to be interesting that are going against the ATF and the United States government currently at right now who are very much overreaching on our gun rights and everything. So was it China? We don't know. Um... Me, who lives in Alaska, am I too worried about it? Not really. For said reason, I have several guns and several things of body armor, so I'm not too worried when it comes to that. So, keep an eye out, stay armed, stay educated, and make sure you train, practice, and always be aware. Take it easy, guys.